Hi, Brett Packey here with uh, Core Golf. And here's an example of a student uh, who came to me with the shanks and how easy it is to fix. Um, I think a big misconception with the people that have the shanks is one, the face is closed. I think number two is you see people hit from the outside of the golf ball. But I find, at least most people that I see that have the shanks have the same cause where they lose too much shaft angle. That makes the club longer than it should be. And um, that's where the shanks really come from uh, most of the time. So you see in this example, the guy takes it a little bit up to the outside, back down. And yes, this club head is to the outside of his hands, but it's because he got really wide early released with the golf club. So the club head will come uh, outside of our plane line there, and you see the impact, you see what's going to happen, and uh, a perfect 45 degree right angle. So all we worked on today with him was creating a narrower position, uh, creating some lag in the hands, and um, he got the club a little bit better rotated in the backswing, but then as he starts in the downswing, he's maintaining angle uh, between his arms and the shaft, so the, the head then lags behind his hands there, and you'll see a much different impact position right here. You can see the hands are forward and leaning, and there's still shaft angle there. And uh, perfect, perfect contact right there. So pretty easy fix. Um, I think you just got to really take the time to explain to the students what uh, what the cause is and how to fix it. And as instructors, I don't think uh, swinging left or over the top is nearly as much of a cause as lost shaft angle. Again, Brett Packey with Core Golf. Thanks.